Lord, man, it is almost Friday. Finally, almost Friday. It's been the longest week. It has been, and this rain ain't helped none. It rained off and on all day long yesterday. All right. What done happened there? I had to uh, get an extra head kit <laughs> to fix a fellow's ratchet. I was I, I was out. I had something on the way in, but he needed a ratchet fix that day. So that's the new Mac gearless ratchets, guys. Yeah. Completely gearless. I gotta put a head kit in it this afternoon. Uh -huh. Get her back good to go. Some new AC gauges up there. Yes, at Robin Air. Cool, cool, cool. They get the floor and the box crapped out on me, so. Oh, well, that ain't never no good. Right. Well, how's your week been going? Busy, busy, busy. Ain't flooded y'all out? No, not yet. You done make plans to put pontoons under the trucks? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's been hit or miss around Tupelo. It hasn't been real bad now between, uh, my dad lives north of Tupelo up there, and they've had a good fit this week. Man, it's rained its ass off here. Really? Did you see that next door where the storage units is going in? They look like a solid mud hole. Uh, they had it completely level. The it must creek, be in the ditch down there. Then. The <laughs> creek's probably an ankle deep now. You know, it used to be like 12 foot deep. Yeah. But every bit of it, it come off uh, behind the forward place and washed down. And uh, Cause all Because it's the all just sloped is, out down there now. All the sand's gone. Like all that that they hauled in is completely gone. Ooh. They're going to have to build them a retainer wall or something. It's bad. Boy, what you got some sockets up here? Yeah, a uh, new deal that we ordered uh, at the show that just come in. Um, we're starting to do some foam tray stuff. And mm -hmm. I got some coming. So it's going to be a foam tray. It's going to have like ratchets and sockets and cool drivers and stuff in. It's going to be real neat. That looks really good, too. I like the way they staggered them like that to save space, you know. Uh-huh. And then, like, even, you know, the ones that are, like, neck down at the top, mm -hmm. they even got it neck down in the foam as well. Cool. Yeah, that's a really good-looking set. Like, that would look good in a toolbox drawer. And I know people's going to fuss because they're laying down. They take up more room, blah, blah, blah. But you have to balance things in life. But if it's like, shallow drawers, it works perfectly. Exactly perfect. right. That's what I was going to say. You could put that in a, you know, the short drawer. But you have to have trade-offs in life. And to me, it looking good, that makes a big difference. Because See, that looks really good. There's some of it that we, they have out now. Oh, yeah. That's cool. You can get all your drivers in one or mm -hmm. a quarter inch set you know in one i mean even punching chisels and a hammer it you yep. it's well, it's really neat man i like that. i like the way the wrenches are i think it'd be neat to take like a those maximizer at roll carts and completely fill the whole box with everything and nothing but foam trays like that now, you know, if you buy all them foam trays with them tools in them, you're going to have to buy a Harbor Freight car. There ain't that much meat left on the bone. Like, even Jeff Bezos would be like, whoa, hold up a minute, hoss. We're going to have to reconfigure this. <laughs> I don't know if I can swing that payment. But, I mean, they're doing all, all the wrenches. I guess if a guy already cost. owns the tools, though, he can just buy the, yeah, the foam we, tray because it says foam, foam trays. Trays. 7E. Well, that's actually the part number for this whole set, actually. Oh, the whole set. So it's, what is it, 7E, I-S-S-A-E. Mm-hmm. And then I also got one in 3H chrome right there that looks real good, too. Nothing looks better than shiny chrome sockets anyway. Mm-hmm. Especially in a foam tray. Yeah, that'll cause that drool factor right there. That'll sell. <laughs> <laughs> so, you remember we showed the little 266-piece bit set? Well, apparently we didn't show the part numbers. 
fixings. It was just the bits, you know, the small oh, kit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And man, everybody has been wanting that part number. If we can see it through the plastic, it's right here. It's a 77 piece. Okay, 77. My bad. Right there. So that is a SBDB 77 RBRT. Right there, right? That, yeah, that's a. I love that little set. I couldn't if tell I you. didn't have the 121 piece, I would I would be all about that. I've had a lot of guys that are, have bought this just to take home to put with their gunsmith and stuff. Mm-hmm. So that little 121 piece set, which you probably got one of them too, that's my favorite bit set of all the bit sets. I love that set. Because the nice thing is, one, it's a nice freaking case. Like a, it's not a Pelican, but you know, it's kind of made like that. Knockoff Pelican. Yeah. Amazon basic Pelican. And, uh, <laughs> but then you can also, if you don't need it in the case, you could just sit that somewhere. Yeah. That's cool. So. Mm-hmm. That's a nice set, man. Well, I must confess, the MAC bottle opener that I got from you mm -hmm. works really good. <laughs> this last weekend, we tried this. We was going to see if we could get the lifetime warranty on it, but it outlasted us. Oh, well, hey, that's a good thing. But now it opened up a bunch of them. Yeah? Like, a bunch of them. It's quite nice. Man, there's some cool looking blow guns right there. I just got those in not long ago. Um, I like that. How much them is? I want to say they're around 48 to 50 bucks. Yeah. I mean, it's still not one of those $100 blowguns, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was worried about when I asked how much it was. Um, they got a real good feel to them, too. I like it. I like it because you can see it, too. Man, that's nice. We just come out with those, and then you can still put the so tip. Still put the, the tips. You on. can snap the tips mm -hmm. on the ends. Hmm. And they I got them in green and orange and red. I think I'm gonna get that green one. I don't need you hanging it back up there. I need to get another one. You can't ever have too many blow guns. Because you can never find it when you need it anyway. Nope. I bought the little pencil style, you know, that you turn. Uh huh. And uh. I like them for certain jobs, and then I've got a long one that I like for certain jobs. But you'll get out on a service call, and you but like, man, I need one of pistol grip style, you know, to get done in something. And all I got is like the ink pen style on the truck, and that sucks. I call that one the, 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 the body shop blow gun, more or less, because yeah. every one of them's got them in it there where they can <laughs> sand and then blow off and yeah. put it back in their pocket. Did you ever get your twin grips in? The nip yes, X. I did. I know, man, old Joe's been selling the stew out of them things. I think he said he sold 40 something pair of them. I That's ordered the in on. 12 pair. They sold out the first week. And when I called to get some more, she had like four left. Wow. So. They're doing good, then. They, uh. They were some awesome little plots. They are. And I'm going to tell you, if you're taking off, like, the Jeep on the coolant hose, it's got that spring clamp. Uh-huh. Now, I love the ones I bought from you, the Mac version, but them right there work better for the, you know, because it's two wires versus the, like, two flat pieces on right. one side and a flat piece on the other. Those right there, buddy, them right there will grip, like, no tomorrow on those spring clips. I, everybody that's bought them has loved them. Yep. They work. They, uh, that's the bit, that was the biggest thing is <clears throat> I didn't know how they were going to do when I originally ordered a dozen of them in and then they were flying out and as soon as I called to get some more, well, I only got four left. I'll send you that. <laughs> they work, man. These things are worth the money. So what do you think about the humidity out there? Holy oh, cow. You can cut it with a knife today. I walked out to take the dogs out this morning and you about had to go in and change shirts because, I mean, it's just so thick. Me and Michael come out of the air-conditioned office. The camera lens just fogged up and had sweat beads. I mean, it was so bad. It's bad. So. It is bad. 
Well, did you get any other your new stuff in? Still waiting on a good bit of, bit bit to come in, but I mean, truck's full, but I'm still waiting on some of our flyer stuff from Flyer Nine to come in. I ain't even got all of it yet. Wow, that sale will be over time you get it in. Huh? I just got some stuff in from Flyer Eight. Wow, it's just with everything going on and all this COVID crap kicking back up, it's Sucks, back taking huh? forever to get anything. Well. It happens. So, I got a text this morning that a good friend of ours, his dad passed away last night in the hospital with it. He'd been oh, on the vent man, for a while. That sucks. So, they say it's hit or miss if they have to put you on that vent. It's go uh, either way quickly. It, uh, it's bad. I mean, they say that right now that it, in Tupelo anyway, that it's just as bad as the first go round, if not worse, already. Holy cow. Well, so. you know, my wife, they're making them wear the mask again at work. Mm hmm. If you go in there at all, you're going to wear a mask. So. It's coming back. It sucks. Bad but it is. It is what it is. I guess we'll, like, Darwinism will kick in. So Whoever's so. left at the end of it will be the survivors, you know. <laughs> I ain't worrying about it. I ain't wearing those thinking mask. I'm just going to do what I got to do. The only time I'm going to wear a mask if it's required by law, like on an airplane. You know, there ain't right. much you can do about that. Not if you want to go anywhere. That's it. All right, guys. Well, we're going to cut this thing off and get back in here. I got a bunch of junk I got to do today that I don't want to do, but I got to do anyway. Like always, thanks for watching. There's a new Nepros link in the description if you guys want some Nepros ratchets. There's a USA Amazon seller and it's down in there. So check it out. Like always, if you like the video, hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes is here. And if you're not subscribed, take your finger and click that button. Y'all have a great week. Catch you later. See ya.